He walked up, opened the door, and shot my dad in the head. And I watched my dad's head fall. The daughter of Paul Howe speaking with KOCO's Abigail Ogle about what she calls misinformation around her father's murder and his convicted killer, Julius Jones. And Abby joins us now in studio. Abby, Rachel Howe saying just because big name celebrities and athletes are all supporting Jones, that does not mean he's innocent. Right, guys, that's exactly their message. And as the Julius Jones campaign tries to clear his name and save his life, now Rachel Howell and her family have made it their mission to prove the death row inmate is guilty of their father's murder. Family man, you know, fun, um, silly, goofy, your typical just fun dad. Um, you know, he has two daughters. He'd always go to all my soccer games and basketball games. Those are some of the happy memories Rachel has of her dad, Paul. Go Ray! He'd always, you know, cheer me on and I can just hear his voice. But she also remembers the night her father was gunned down in front of her grandparents' Edmond home. I remember pulling into the driveway and watching him walk up to the car. I mean, he was right there. The he she is referring to, she says, is Julius Jones. Paul Howell, his two young daughters, and his sister were all in the car after some back-to-school shopping. The door was already cracked open. I watched him walk up. He had a red bandana over his face, a white shirt, and with a silver gun, like, up against his leg here as he was walking up, and then opened the door and shot my dad in the head. And that's the main image that I remember, is my dad's head falling. And Rachel tells me the horror did not stop there. And it happens so fast and you're just in this situation where you're thinking, run. I remember running up the driveway um, with my aunt and my sister and uh, he shot again at us and luckily missed, but he said stop and shot at us. That was in 1999. Julius Jones was convicted and sentenced to death. We've been dealing with this for over 20 years. Um, and over the last few years, um, we've kind of watched it spiral out of control in a way. Well, he says he's standing at the top of East Drive. Documentaries, petitions, a justice for Julius campaign, which is backed by big name celebrities and athletes. What has it been like for you and your family to see the celebrities and athletes come out in full support of the man convicted of murdering your father. They think they're advocating for, you know, an innocent man, but I, they're not doing all the research as there have been celebrities and influencers out there that I've looked up to that are advocating for Julius Jones and it's been disappointing. Are there any that you want to name? I used to follow Kim Kardashian um, and she's obviously one of the biggest ones. You know, I used to watch her show. These celebrities are spoon fed information. You know, they're getting these packets of specific information and it's the same lies that can be easily contradicted with the facts and documents. What um, I would like to ask for them is if you're ever going to advocate for something like this, a capital murder case, look at both sides. And now Rachel and her family are on a mission to make sure people see their side. Rachel tells me it feels like an uphill battle. It's like David versus Goliath. We have, I think, a thousand now on Facebook. Um, Kim Kardashian, you know, all these other people, Russell Westbrook, Blake Griffin, they all have hundreds of millions of followers. Are you surprised that you are still fighting against the man convicted of killing him? Yes, I am surprised to be here. I think I'm surprised that it's gotten to this point. Every one of Julius Jones's campaign's claims, it, we can contradict their claims um, with facts and evidence. I mean, it's right, it's right there for people to find. Has there ever been a moment in your mind where you thought, Maybe they're right. When this started coming out that he's innocent and he didn't do it, um, I had to question, you know, did he do it? When Julius Jones and Christopher Jordan were tried, I was in middle school. So I had to face this as an adult and really dig into the facts. My conclusion is he 100% did this. He murdered my father. Commutation is recommended. But last month, the Pardon and Parole Board recommended commutation for Julius Jones, something Rachel says was unfair. We felt like... Uh, they were, um, you know, biased and had made their opinions prior. Has this made you lose trust in our criminal justice system? Yeah, I think so. Governor Stitt announced he would not make a decision on Julius Jones until after the clemency hearing, which will be in front of the same pardon and parole board. We lack some trust in them now after that. She has this ask of that board. Look at the evidence and the facts of this case. Go into this without any influence of the outside noise. We're the victims here and we're really just trying to get the truth out there.
Julius Jones is expected to be there and to talk. What will that be like to see him and to and to hear him? That is something that's been on my mind a lot lately because I'm scared of him. Do you feel safe right now? This is a very high profile case, a lot of attention on it. Like you said, millions and millions of followers all over the world now following this. Speaking out to me right now, do you feel safe? No. My anxiety stems from not feeling safe. That's how I felt the night that my that Julius Jones murdered my father. I hesitated for a while speaking out on this. I struggled with, do I want to put my face out there? But Rachel says she had no choice. We felt like the truth was being buried over all this misinformation and lies that um, the Justice for Julius campaign has been saying. Saying she had to fight for justice for her dad. I feel like my dad's strength is within me. What do you think your dad would say about all of this that's going on? He definitely wouldn't want this for us. Um, I think he'd be getting emotional. Okay. I think he would be very proud of us. As hard as this is for our family, I think it's very, I think it's therapeutic in a way. Um, we're all having to face this together. You know, we'll be proud that we're uniting as a family and, and fighting some really big names. And in those moments, I think about him. Rachel thinks about her dad a lot. There's a lot of big moments in life that you want your dad there for. I think the hardest thing that I tend to have is when I watch other fathers and daughters is when I get really sad. Julius Jones' clemency hearing is October 26th. Then it's up to Governor Kevin Stitt on what to do. As of now, Jones' execution is set for November 18th. Rachel tells me the governor's office has reached out to her family and they hope to meet with the governor soon.